There's speculation Malaysia's prime minister has reshuffled his cabinet to keep a key ally on his side. Two UMNO politicians have been promoted. UMNO is the biggest party of the ruling coalition, and the reshuffle comes as it prepares to decide whether to withdraw support for the government. Afifa Arafin joins us live now for more on this story. Afifa, what are the appointment changes? That's right, Don. So Senior Minister Ismail Sabri has been appointed as the Deputy Prime Minister while still holding on to his defence portfolio. And, and interestingly enough, Mr. Mohidin Yassin, since taking power, uh, has never had a deputy instead choosing to appoint to four senior ministers in his cabinet. According to the Prime Minister's office, Mr. Ismail Sabri will be assisting the Prime Minister in managing the country through the economic and public health crisis that it's currently facing. Now, Mr. Ismail Sabri has been a prominent Prominent cabinet figure, especially in the National Security Council. We have seen him front the daily press conferences and give a lot of updates, uh, policy updates regarding the COVID-19 situation in Malaysia. Uh, taking his former place is also a fellow UMNO MP, as well as the Foreign Affairs Minister, Hishamuddin Hussein, who has been promoted to a senior minister position. And as the senior minister, Mr. Hishamuddin, will be helping the prime minister to implement uh, the national recovery plan. And he will also be overseeing the security cluster that was a position that was previously held by Mr. Ismail Sabri himself. Now, the Prime Minister's office said that it's hoped that these two appointments uh, will boost the Prikatan Nationals government ability to manage the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as to strengthen the unity and cooperation between the various parties that's in the Prikatan National Coalition. Afifa, talk to us about the political strategy that may be at play here, because there's speculation that this move might have been made by the prime minister so that he can stay in power. Well, there have been, as we know, a lot of pressure coming from AMNO, which does form the largest block in this ruling Prigatan uh, National Coalition. Uh, and the appointments that were announced today also comes ahead of a scheduled meeting between the members of AMNO Supreme Council that's being held this evening. And they are still deliberating whether or not to leave the Prigatan National Coalition. Uh, many people are saying the move on the part of the prime minister to make these two appointments is for him to stay in power and to have that much needed stability. Ability. And observers say that, you know, in order for him to achieve this, then he needs to give UMNO more power and say, and his party also needs to give more concessions uh, to UMNO. Bearing in mind that UMNO does hold quite a bit of weight in parliament with uh, nine full ministers and eight deputy ministers. But at this point in time, observers seem to be quite split about what this means in terms of the power dynamics uh, within the government. Though they do agree uh, that this move to give UMNO more power and say is one that is long overdue. Uh, other uh, observers are also saying that, you know, in fact, these announcements are, or these appointments are not going to change anything much simply because the appointments were not endorsed by the AMNO Supreme Council or the AMNO grassroots as well, many of whom are still backing the President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi and are still, you know, brewing or deciding whether or not to leave the coalition. So let's have a listen to what some observers uh, are saying about this. It's a very clever uh, move by Muhyiddin. In a sense, it's a sort of a divide and conquer tactic so that, uh, for example, the, the Supreme Council may be uh, divided as to whether uh, to pull out of the ruling coalition. So I think in the short term, uh, Muhyiddin uh, has an upper hand in terms of uh, not having the uh, senior member of its uh, ruling coalition pulling out. There was a reason why AMNO was not given a very senior position in the, in the, in the government when this uh, new uh, Prikata National Government was formed uh, last year. And I think the reason is still there, which because uh, one of which is uh, there are other uh, power centres within the government or major power centre uh, within the uh, ruling party itself, Bersatu. Uh, so we can expect those uh, reasons to resurface. So we'll have to see what comes out of that UMNO Supreme Council meeting that's uh, going on this evening. And in the coming days, we could also potentially expect some internal opposition from within the Prime Minister's party, Bursatu itself, and also reactions from Senior Minister Azmin Ali, who has been widely touted as a potential successor to the Prime Minister. All of this in the lead up to that crucial parliamentary sitting on July 26th. 
Afifa, thank you. Afifa Arafin there following developments for us in Malaysia.